welcome guys here it is our zone caravan reveal which one did we get what did we do with it what are we gonna do with it hey eh? we are really excited Woo! to finally share with you the reveal of our new caravan let's go we are super excited to finally be in our zone sojourn summit it is a 21 foot it's got a full carbon fiber skin and it is a beautiful van. Super strong, lightweight, and it is completely timberless, dust free. One of the best parts about your experience of picking up your new zone is you head about an hour and a half north of Coulomb, 20 kilometers north of Gympie, and you arrive at a beautiful spot called Hangar Row. When you arrive at Hangar Row, you're met by the Zone team members. You're welcomed and you're given a comprehensive handover in a relaxed environment to understand everything your van has to offer you and everything you need to understand about your van. Once you've enjoyed the experience of the handover, you're given a complimentary stay at Hangar Row, which gives you an opportunity to really shake down your caravan whilst being supported by the Hangar Row and Zone team. Proudly brought to you by iCheck TPMS. Well, guys, you've had a few, had a, had, you've had a bit of a glimpse of the van, and um, I'm pretty excited to take you for a quick lap around the outside of the caravan. I'll be doing the outside, and Sue will be doing the inside. So we're going to start up the front. We're going to go around and um, just show you why I'm pretty excited about this caravan. All right, guys. So up the front of our, our zone. I just love the design of the chassis these guys do. It's obviously their little signature. I just love it. We, we've we opted for the Raptor coating. So that's got like a protection of the front of the chassis and then around the wheel arches as well. We start up the front, we've got a DO45 hitch from Cruise Master. So, and then we move, it's got your handbrake, it's got your trail safe from BM Pro, so that's your anti sway, your chains, your Anderson plug for DC DC while driving and your trailer plugs so for all your lights. Also got a safety dive camera on the back. Got an electric um, jockey wheel. You turn it on, you, there's an on and off switch. If you turn it on, a little white light comes on and retract. Lower the front and raise, raise the front. So no more cranking. Cranking or Ribbing. I didn't actually, I didn't mind the boss um, jockey wheel we got when we um had our had our last van so but anyway that's i think that's a nice touch it actually goes through the chassis here so it's got a really stable so if you like you can you see not not much shake on it all right up the front guys a full composite toolbox it's all about weight mate this van is completely timberless there's no wood in this caravan at all so Everything is pretty much composite. So we've got a full composite toolbox on the, on, on the front of this van. Ample space. Up the front, you've got these little angled storage areas. So I've got the ground sheet up in the front. So if it's wet or dirty, it sort of can just sit there. They've got holes at the bottom for the water to run out. We've got a diesel jerry can for our diesel heater, which sits up the front here. I've got my hose up the front. This one's always a little bit dirty. Same thing, holes underneath to drain. You can store whatever you want. On this side of the toolbox, so there's a bit of a, a divider. It sits about, about, around about, oh, maybe a little bit deeper. About over here, um, we've got the two four and a half kg gas bottles inside. That's all on this side. And then on the other side, you've got ample storage space. So I keep just my tools and stuff that I need to get. Our chairs go inside there. Um, it works just a treat. I've actually got my full length tail light tail board for my boat lying inside of this toolbox so that just shows you how much space you've got in the front and again all down to weight these guys have thought about weight or on everything they've done that i think the toolbox is absolutely amazing they have not compromised on their design at all i think it suits the van and um, you can also tie some stuff up the top as well you can stand on top of here guys this stuff is that strong Okay guys, also up the front here, you've got an option with 
no max tracks, two max tracks, or four max tracks. We've opted for four max tracks because why? I get, I tend to get bogged a bit. So we've got four on the van and four on the car. So we've got eight max tracks all up. So that's it. Also, front spotty, rear spotty for either driving at night. And you know, a lot of people ask us why have we got spotlights. And if you go back when we got woke up on that Wiralti Beach scenario, pitch dark. Had to get off the beach 3 a.m. in the morning. Turn the outside lights on. You can see what you're doing. Or for security as well. If you hear some movement outside your van, you can turn these outside lights on. And hopefully, you know, it's just a, an animal. But moving around. Let's go around this side. Okay, guys, moving around the side. You can see the carbon fiber. No, it's not a sticker. It's actually carbon fiber and I do believe, I've been told, there's three layers of carbon fiber on this model because they need to get that strength out of the carbon fiber. But up the front, we've got a full size tunnel boot that runs the entire way through to the other side of the caravan so you can take those longer items, fishing rods or anything like that. And then we've got a, a beautiful stainless steel proper kitchen slide that slides all the way out and you can put your Weber on top of that connect it to the bayonet and you can cook outside and once that's done unplug the, the Weber, pack the Weber away and slide the, the, the kitchen slide back in. Um, great, great, I'm going to try and keep this clutter free if I have to say. Totally dustless as well. You can see on these um, hatch lids, it's like double, double layer rubbers so when you actually close it you can feel it suck in and that's where that sort of dustless van sort of comes in they've really thought of everything all right guys so onto the awning now the 21 foot van has its pros and cons one pro is we get a bigger awning compared to our last van because obviously it's a longer van so the, your, your coverage your area underneath the awning is a lot bigger which is great and, and having that awning out keeps the helps keep the van cool but you must probably think because it's a black like a, a dark colored van that how does it go in the heat now we've been in this van for three weeks and it's pretty hot where we are. In direct sunlight, I can actually put my hand on this caravan. It's warm, but it's not boiling hot. It's because of the insulation in the composite is absolutely insane. So they've really thought about everything. So don't be scared if you were got, wanting to go for the carbon fiber van and you were worried about the sun on the van. But having that awning out just helps keep the van cool, especially with Sue working inside when we're off grid. Okay guys, here's an exciting part of the caravan that myself and Sue are absolutely ecstatic about um, is having this outdoor kitchen. Now we've been four years on the road, four different vans and we, we struggled to find this outdoor. We traveled with some friends in the beginning of the year in their caravan. They had this pull out table, absolutely loved it. We used it almost every night just for dishing up, cooking, just some space to put some stuff down. And well, yeah, it is. We've got almost a one and a half meter wide outdoor kitchen area with all these little areas you can store stuff. We've opted for the crash pad, small sort of storage pockets. And it just houses everything over here like that. Just keep it nice and neat. You've got your TV. You can have your TV outside. You've got power. You've got 12 volt power. You've got your audio. Um, I'm most probably going to use that top shelf for a little bit of, um, of my camera gears charging because i've got usb and power here now you must probably be thinking where's the sink we do have it does come with a little pop-up sink because you've got hot and cold water just over here so you can wash your dishes and then just tip the water out when you're done we have it comes with a induction cooktop as well for outside a single plate you can plug it in and you can cook outside or cook on the weather but how good is that? I re I'm really excited about it. We've had the um, air fryer on here. We've cooked, we've, we've dished up with friends around here. It is absolutely amazing. Up the top here, you've got your white and orange lights, one above the Weber. So orange for the bugs, white if you're wanting to get more area light. I think that is spot on amazing. Okay guys, so we're our caravan's running on a galvanized chassis now these galvanized chassis are made in-house its own they strong and white white so everything that zone does is made in-house so that's pretty cool up the front you would have seen we've raptor coated it they continue to the raptor coat through here for stone chips which is great they're running on 18 inch rims and we've got some cooper 
Discoverer ST tires on here. It's all full. I think it just suits the van, the color of the van, everything just coming together. I just love it. Um, and we're running the Cruise Master ATX air suspension auto level in this caravan. Now, if you don't know, that's something that I've been chasing for for a long time because of the way we travel, stopping one night, two nights. I can just, when, we, when we're setting off to go, you just hit it into auto. It auto levels itself, but I've been told not to drive with it in auto. So once it's leveled itself, I just clip it into manual and we drive off. It automatically sets to the right height that we need. And when we get somewhere, I just level it. And so far, I have not had to use a chop. And you can see the ground here. She's a bit how you, a little bit how you going, little little like humps here and there. Well, I put it in and I got get my level out and I can just level it, which is amazing. So the Cruise Master suspensions are first for us. We've towed with the um, airbags, just tows totally different. So I'm pretty excited about that. All right, guys, we are the rear of the caravan. Simple, less is more. Rear bar, one spare wheel on here. You get, there's an option for two. Just remember, a spare wheel can weigh anything from 40 kilos upwards. So everything's about weight for us. We've just opted for the one spare wheel. On this one, now we were used to carry a telescopic ladder with us. And it was just something extra we had to carry. Well, this one's got the ladder on the back. Now, climb up and I can clean the, the solar panels or I can climb through the hatch. But I think that's pretty cool. And you just flip it up and it locks into place. All right, guys, on the other side of the caravan, um, there's actually quite a bit going on here. I'm going to start at the back. So you've got your water filling points over here. We've got front tank, drinking water, tank two, and mains. So all up, you've got 240 liters of water. You can designate one of those to drinking water. That's where that is. So 80, 80, 80, and then, and we've got a 100 liter gray water tank, which has got an isolating valve on that too. So where you can't have um, gray water going out onto the onto the grass or into the garden you can shut that off and collect your gray water next to that we've got an outlet so we've got two outlets of these uh, in, on the van one on the other side by um, the outdoor kitchen and one this side it's like a plug-in shower little handheld shower today was really hot plugged it in sprayed Bobby down that's how you fill up the um, your sink outside now you get hot and cold water so if you go around the back you can sort of just rinse yourself off after a beach Cool yourself down, something like that. Here, all zones, their power systems sits behind the fridge. Also, same sort of hatch as the front. No dust can come in, totally dustless caravan. It's actually got a magnet. There you go. There's a bit going on here. The zone range all has a Red Ock management power system, if you want to call it. This one runs a 3000 watt inverter. So that is big enough to run the aircon off grid, but obviously you can't run multiple heavy drawing items at once. So if you're running the aircon, we can't turn the microwave on or induction cooktop and stuff like that. This van, Sue will show you in a minute, is all uh, electric cooking appliances. So 800 amps of lithium. We've gone for a slightly bigger power system on this van. There's a, you know, we've got a few reasons. The 600 just wasn't quite holding up if you had two days of sort of cloudy weather so we were hoping that the extra 200 amp battery will then buy, buy us another few more days off grid we're all about being off grid and with sue working full time with that inverter pretty much stays on all day to run starlink power her laptop power my laptop editing camera gear and stuff like that so that's what you've got here you've also got an awesome um, diagram of the power system here yeah, well thought of that you, it's right next to the power system so you, if something had to go wrong, you can look at it and go, it shows you where all the fuses are. All the fuses are labeled as well. So if you don't have much idea of what's going on with 12, I'd like myself, you can have a look at the fuses. That's somewhere where I would start. Everything is labeled inside here. On a hot day, I open this. Obviously, if it's raining, you can just shut it and the dust stays out, baby. On top, guys, to help power of the system we've got a thousand and eighty watts of solar seven panels on the roof and I have a plug at the back here where I can plug in a blanket so I've got a 300 watt Red Ock um, solar blanket so I've almost got 1.4 kilowatts of solar in total what's nice about that that's actually split on what I've picked up on the power system which I'll I'll show you the screen in a minute still trying to get my head around it but that's okay I'm not, I'm the genius of, of 12 volt, but I'll, you know, but anyway, that, 
I, I, I did recognize um, that blanket is separate to the ones on the roof so the more I can move my blanket around in the Sun if you know like yeah we got some trees so that's morning Sun I can move the blanket I can do that and that way I've split the solar so if that's a bit shaded I can move my blanket out I know it's only 300 watts but it's something coming in moving up we got your 240 in with it with your trip switch if something had to trip and your TV antenna if you wanted to add that but that's pretty much it and you've got obviously the other side of the tunnel boot now we don't have a dust reduction system in this caravan because we don't need one it is totally dustless and I think that's pretty cool that it is totally dustless and not having a dust reduction system on the roof means I can have more solar on the roof and more solar is what we're looking for Welcome inside. This is absolutely my domain and where I spend a lot of my time. So up front, we've got a beautiful queen size bed. There's a luxury pillow top mattress, which I am superbly excited about and happy with. On either side of the bed, two huge windows with panoramic views. There's blackout screens on the bottom if you lift them up. And you've obviously got all your meshing to protect you from flies and mozzies. The windows open up quite easily. They automatically lock into place and you just drop them down. Above the bed, we've got a beautiful hatch for airflow. Um, again, you've got your screen for bugs and flies. It does have a light on it. It's also automatic. So I just have to push the button and it automatically lifts or closes. We've got the cupboards above the bed where we store our clothing. And we've also got full length cupboards next to the bed. Now we've got the shelving, but you can opt for hanging space if you prefer. You just lift the covers up and out. I must say, we actually fit in more with the shelving than we did with the hanging space we because we we obviously fold all our clothes, but they're that deep that um, we actually can fit more clothes in, which, or more better usable space, I would say. Now I look super tall next to the bed. That's because I'm stood up on a little step area. And this is probably one of my favorite things about this van. If you've caravan before or you've lived in a caravan before, you know that the shoes are always an issue. On either side of the bed, we've got two little cupboards on the floor. They lift up and there's packing space for the shoes. And Ample the space. Ample space. We've actually got just next to nothing in the one next it's to actually made. Sue's bed. actually standing on it and it makes it look taller. It does. And <laughs> it's easier for me to get on the bed. I don't have to take a run up. Um, then up above the bed on either side, we've got two Sirocco fans which are obviously fully rotatable. So we can either have them directed towards the bed or we can rotate them and direct them to the seating area in the kitchen while I work. Look what's still made an appearance. Oh, the clock. The clock, yes, the clock came. The clock has come, the clock has gone nowhere. Um, however, the clock does not have a working battery in it. I put a new battery in it when I put it on the wall <laughs> and it's still, it's not working. So it's come along with us kitchen we've got a big what size is this left 28 inch i think smart nce tv smart nce tv it's fully rotational so you can direct it towards the bed or alternatively towards the seating area tucked up nicely behind it you do have usb points and you've got two plug points um, and obviously your aerial port just above it beautiful cupboard now we've actually got our starlink hard mounted into this cupboard so another feature on this van that we've opted for is the styling to be permanently mounted on the roof of the caravan. All cupboards, as you can tell, I'll just do that again, are made out of composite for lightweight and they are soft clothes. So up here we've got a couple of groceries, plates, bowls, etc. We've got our sink. Over here we've got a two plate induction cooktop by Safari and it suffices perfectly in terms of cooking. If we do want to oven cook something, bake something, grill something, air fry something, we do have an air fryer and we've also got the Weber outside. It's forced me to use the Weber a lot more, which I actually don't mind doing to be honest. And like the, the benefit for me, you do the cooking. Yep. <laughs> Lots of storage in this kitchen. So you've actually got three drawers running down this side of the cabinet. The smaller one on top for cutlery, medium size just below it. And there's a larger drawer at the bottom, which is great for things like pots, coffee machines, your big Yeti bottles, because it's got extra depth. 
and then that's mirrored on this side so another three door draws all in gradation in terms of depth under the actual cooktop we've got a nice big pot drawer and under the sink you've got sort of your standard sink cupboard that we keep all our um, cleaning materials in and we've got a bin finally finally we've got a bin so another bug being caravanning life is where do you put your rubbish so we finally got somewhere to put the rubbish and i also purchased some little clip-on um shelving just to tuck away you know some cleaning products and your day-to-day -day bits and pieces we've got ourselves a microwave up top it's also an nce microwave and you've got all your cooking functions um with that so if we look at how we cook because we've done away with a gas oven it's either on the induction cooktop the air fryer the weather outside and the microwave so plenty of choices while we're in the kitchen guys this is where the power is so it's the red arc um uh, red vision everything is controlled through here and this is a bluetooth app to my phone very similar or well, actually exactly the same as the car so it's a bit different so you less light switches around the caravan because i can turn on everything from here the, the inverter lights water pumps but then when i get into bed i just can jump on my phone on the app and i can turn it all off once we're in bed and make sure that the inverter's off um, the inverter has to be on obviously for the styling to work so that's still a 240 version styling i just don't know when i'll ever bring out a 12 volt but you know there's people doing conversions but we won't dive into that um, and that is at the door of the caravan so it's pretty accessible all the way otherwise if i'm sitting outside i can just jump on my phone um, make sure that I'm on the caravan and not my car. I can turn things on and off as well. So that's pretty cool. I'm still getting my head around that not having light switches around, but it's cool. It takes the clutter off the walls. Our little lights next to our bed, they're on a little, bu on a little button. You've got roof lights. You can turn off these other lights and just have the roof lights on. You've got a, the fans, the two Sirocco fans are all on the, um, uh, the Red Vision. You've got a Turn the rear fans on to open the hatches for the um, thing and the water pump. We've got drinking water here. I have to hit the pump for the drinking water. And if I want the tank water to shower and wash dishes, I have to hit the other pump. So it's completely separate. All right. So over to the seating area. So this is a cafe style seating area. This is where I spend a lot of my time. It's obviously where we relax, we eat, but I also spend a number of hours working here every day. Um, so two separate benches. There is storage under the bench. Um, under that seat, you also house the compressor, don't oh, you? Yeah, the airbag, com airbag compressor. The airbag the, compressor. There we the go. The system for the <laughs> suspension. <laughs> um, up here, we've got some USB portals. That's where our power comes from. Um, and we've got the plug points underneath the table, which I really like because that's tucked away. Tucked away, yeah. yeah. We've also got the... Um, now, you might have to help me with this one. What? I don't never remember what it is. Right, eh? You know what my memory's like. But the actual um, device that sets off if there's carbon monoxide yeah. or smoke. Yeah. So that's also tough. Got smoke alarm up on the roof. There's two, one there and one at the door, I do believe. So there you go. So all, everything that one needs inside for safety is here. Yeah. And the table obviously shifts across that way, shifts across this and way. And then down as well. And down. Derek and I are constantly having little barges at the table trying to get our space um, and we've got a pocket up behind here just for some storage and as you see our beautiful sunglass collection um, gets hooked over the top there. Over on this side we've got the Webasto diesel heater. We haven't had to use it yet because we've been cooking by the natural heat It's been Queensland, super hot here. As you can tell, um, pretty humid but we've got the strip lighting. Derek did chat about the lighting earlier so we've got strip lighting running on either side of the van up behind the bed and in the bathroom alternatively you've got your central lighting which you can either run on a white function or on an ambient as Derek likes to say blue function um, so this is it guys this is where I spend a lot of time it's very comfy and Miss Bob doesn't mind a little snooze on the on the seat and you can see the size of that window is pretty cool so when we're sitting both at the chair you can actually look out you get a nice breeze unfortunately there's no breeze at the moment i can tell you i'll give you a hot tip it's about half past seven in the morning and 
it's and about it's 35 degrees already <laughs> up here. Nice to have a big open window. It complements the one in the kitchen. It makes all the difference to me during the day sitting working, yeah. having a big open space next to me. Oh, and I forgot to mention, because I spend a lot of time on the chair, it actually has a flip up at the bottom of the chair that you can extend to put your legs out and sit comfortably. Um, and I know all about that. Just above here, two beautiful cupboards, really big cupboards for storage. I've managed to pack away Derek's camera equipment and all his bits and bobs that normally, you know, live sort in the van. Of, sort of wander around the, wander the, around the, the caravan. And wander around the van. <laughs> right next to the seating area, we've got every woman's caravanning dream. It is what I've always wanted in a caravan. And it is a full size pantry where you can actually pull the shelving out. You can access cans, tins, sauces at the back without having to get into some sort of, I don't know, acrobatic positioning. So really happy with my pantry and um, it keeps all the groceries sort of in one area, which is superb. Right next to our fridge. So the fridge is a Threadfoot fridge. I think it's 270 Yeah, liters. 270 or 275. So it's very, very similar size to our, actually, if not the same size as our last van, so. Yeah, yeah, nice, big freezer, big fridge area, drawers for your veggies, everything you would expect from a fridge in a van, and it seems to be holding up really, really well. Now, what I haven't spoken about yet is, um, obviously with the interior, you'll see that it is bright and it is white. So we've gone with a really sort of basic color palette in here. We wanted to freshen it up. Um, it really opens up the space. And I've also gone for um, the gloss finish covers. And there's a little bit of a reason behind that. Obviously with Bobby in the van and Derek, Derek has really big hands and fingers that like to find their way onto the cupboards. I'm sure anyone with children can also relate to this. It was not easy to actually clean the marks off the matte black cupboards. So I find these are really easy to wipe down and just, you know, get rid of those marks. So great for keeping the van clean and for maintenance and easy. Up above me, this is where our air, cons fr air comes from. <laughs> so we've got um, a fan on this side and it is uber powerful. I really like it. It's automatic. You just push a button, it opens up and you can actually reverse the airflow. So you can either have air pushing in or you can have air pulling out, which is really great and a Wabasso aircon. Um, so yeah, that is going to be a lifesaver in the warmer climates and really good that we'll be able to run it off the battery system or the power system when we're off grid. All right, so in the bathroom. The powder room. The powder room. Um, this is a one-man situation. I mean, Derek could get in here with me, but um, the footage probably wouldn't be too good. We've got a beautiful Kamek washing machine, which is wall hung. And I like the wall hang washing machines because it frees up the storage space. We've also got the new Ogo compost toilet. Yeah, now, um, now, 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 now. Let's talk about the we've, toilet. We've gone over to the composite, the compost toilet. Well, we have gone over to the composite too, but the compost toilet, yes. Yes, <laughs> I'm getting used to that um, situation. But so far, we've been in the van for three weeks now and we still not have to have we had to empty out the 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 composting section so there you go so it has definitely got its pros so the ogo toilet is slightly different to the other ones this one you can actually remove the compost apart without having to take the whole toilet out and then in front of that you've got the um the bucket so you can take the bucket out and empty that pretty easy so yeah this is the newer one it's more electric than the other one and we're gonna see how it handles sort of the corrugation roads and stuff being electric so, yeah. so there it's you just go. got a button on the side that you push yeah. and that rotates everything yeah. versus having to where the nature's head I believe now we've never had a nature's head you've actually got to physically turn that one this one you hit a button and it does its thing electrical versus mechanical yeah. operation and I think it just it personally, personally, I think the Ogo just looks better than the, yes. than the Nature's Head. If you're looking for that sort Very of sleek. homely look, um, I think it just looks, yeah, it looks like a normal house toilet, pretty much. Very sleek design, sleek. the old throne. Um, and then your standard, you've got your basin, beautiful big mirror, great lighting, um, ample storage. So there's a cupboard below. It does um, 
has the hot water unit, but there's plenty of space for storage. And um, another two cupboards on my right hand side where we just keep obviously all our you know healthcare products and all our cleaning products. Up above me on either side, we've got a linen cupboard and we've got what I refer to as a Bobby cupboard. Yeah. So everything that Bobby owns, everything that Bobby needs, that goes up in where the right is hand he? cupboard. Not sure. He's running. Oh, there he is. He's All on right. the chair outside enjoying the view. Um, one thing that's really great about the zones, actually the shower. The shower is much bigger than a usual caravan. Well, it's the biggest one we've had yeah. in any of our caravans. It gives you extra sort of width, um, which is really great when you're showering. You're sort of not knocking things with your elbows and your knees. All right, guys. So that's our, that's our new van. That's our new van. Incredibly excited to be in it. Yes. Um, it's like buying a new house, you know, when you it move is. in. So really enjoying it for the last three weeks. Still learning how to use everything. Um, love the fact that it's nice and shiny and um, new. And it's giving us, you know, a little bit of extra space, but it's also giving us all those practical requirements for travel yep. in terms of the strength, being lightweight, you know, the beautiful indoor, outdoor lifestyle. And um, we have been very inquisitive. Uh, impressed with the quality of just the finishes. Yeah, well, so far so good. We've towed it um, a, a few times now. Tows beautifully behind the cruiser. And um, I can't wait to see where we go next year with this caravan because we're coming into the silly season. And um, that's a, a, I'm pretty sure most people are looking forward to their Christmas holiday. And I'm pretty sure you guys have got some exciting stuff planned. We have absolutely no idea where we're going to go, oh, where we're going to find to go. We That's haven't planned usual. that. But more than likely, we'll sort of head down back to, to Melbourne, see some friends of ours again, and then from there, we will see where 2024 takes us. But I'm pretty excited to see where we go with the van and what memories and adventures we can sort of make in this caravan. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed a tour of our new van, our new Laboda. Is that, Laboda. What, you, is that what you call it? Yes, it is. Laboda. Laboda. Um, <laughs> but... If you haven't yet, please hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future content. But from myself, Sue and Bobby, we've enjoyed showing you around our home. Um, if you have any questions in regards to the zone, please drop them in down, down below in the comments section or reach out to us. If we can't answer them, we'll try and find the answer for you. But you guys enjoy whatever you guys are getting up to. Enjoy the school holidays, guys. And from myself, Sue and Bobby, see ya.